guys and thank you so much for watching in today's DIY I am going to create a village wreath and for this DIY you'll need a wreath I got mine from Hobby Lobby for five dollars you will need some bottle brush trees some wire cutters some wire you will need um, three of these little villages or, or four, it really depends on your own taste. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. I got the little church, the post office, and I can't remember what the other little one was. But I'm sure you guys have seen these at the Dollar Tree. I also used a star ornament from the Dollar Tree. Here I have this um, feathered boa that I had left over from a craft last year. And I actually don't even end up using that. You guys will see what I use. Um, and my hot glue gun, which is not pictured here, but you will also need a hot glue gun, okay? So let's get started. I did see this cute little DIY on Pinterest and I immediately fell in love with it and said I must do this one. I thought it was so unique and just cute. I just really loved it. Okay, so thank you Pinterest. <laughs> So um, guys, I am just going through and I am just fluffing the wreath. Now you guys can get, the Dollar Tree does have a wreath, but um, that one was not substantial enough to actually hold all the things that I want to put on the wreath. So it was just a little too flimsy. This one was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So after I fluff it, you guys, I am going to take my little church and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use that wire that I had have to actually fix it to the wreath. Now you have to be really creative here <laughs> because it doesn't really have any like little spots or anything where you can kind of um, you know grip grip it to and even with the hot glue gun the little villages they're very hollow so even putting hot glue to it probably will not secure it the way that you want it to so i recommend that you use some wire and that's what i'm using here it's just some floral wire that i got from the dollar tree All I'm doing here is I am wrapping that wire around the actual reef just to secure the little uh, the little church. And I'm just doing the exact same thing for the little post office and I think the other one is a barbershop I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure but it all came from the Dollar Tree
Okay guys, and now I'm going to use some spider web. Um, whatever you call it. You know, the things that you use spider webs for, for, for Halloween. I actually found this to be so much better to work with to make my snow. Now, I chose to cut them in smaller pieces because if you guys have ever dealt with the spider web, um, cotton or whatever you want to call it you guys know that when you the more you pull it the more it stretches out and I wasn't trying to get any spider webs on my Christmas village so I would cut it into smaller pieces and kind of tuck it in my wreath where I wanted it to go and if you want to make your life a whole lot easier cut cut it into smaller pieces first because if you try to pull it apart all you're gonna have is a whole bunch of cobwebs <laughs> Halloween and Christmas will meet together if you try to pull it apart okay so I do recommend just go ahead and cut it And what I tried to do is to cut it into different pieces so that it would look like actual snow. You know, some bigger patches, some smaller patches, but you know, you do what works for you. But yeah, I just tried to make it look as realistic as I possibly could. And the best thing about this spider web um, cotton is that it was you know it attached to the wreath right away like I didn't have to use any type of hot glue or anything to make sure it stayed in place because it, it just it just catches on to everything and that definitely worked in my favor for this particular DIY Now I'm going to take those bottle brush trees. Now you guys, I have the hardest time finding these at the Dollar Tree, even though I know they do carry them. So if you have more luck than I did, then good for you, girl, because I ended up buying this one for $5 at Hobby Lobby, which was, it wasn't bad. I felt like that was a good deal. And then you get a lot for $5. So I'm just taking one of the small bottle brush trees and a medium one, and I am just going to put it where I want to go on top of my full snow. And then I'm going to take one of the gigantic ones. They, they came in three sizes and I'm going to put it right there next to the little post office or barbershop or whatever it is. <laughs> They also had these topiary balls in there. So again, I'm gonna take another one of those medium trees and a little topiary ball, ball and I'm gonna put that just randomly on the wreath. This is why you can let your creativity just go crazy. Wherever you wanna put them, there is no right or wrong way. Just for some added security, I am going to put some hot glue on the bottom of my trees and I am going to attach them to the snow.
Okay, now you can always stop here, but I decided I wanted to embellish it a little bit. So I just got this holly berry bush uh, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut out the pine cones and the berries, and I am going to randomly put them in my wreath. This step is completely optional. Um, I just wanted to add just a little bit more to it.